I chose chemical engineering mostly because I was interested in chemistry. That was the main aspect of it. Um, I did a lot of research before I came to Michigan Tech. Yeah, it was kind of on accident. I didn't intend on coming here, actually. Michigan Tech used to be my safety school. Um, but then when I came up and toured through a scholarship, um, I had to come up here and do a little competition. And that was when I really got the feel for the community of Michigan Tech. And that was when I really fell in love with it. And it went from my last pick to my first. <laughs> really, the reason that I came to Tech is I was mostly inspired by my oldest brother, Jake. Um, he graduated from here with a degree in material science and engineering. Um, and I saw some of the things that he was doing in his job working at places like Boston Scientific, making medical devices and things like that, that really seemed cool to me. Um, so that was really a big inspiration for me to come here and a big reason um, that I looked into coming here in the first place. I graduated with about 75 people in my class. So that was like pretty small for most people and small compared to a college. So Michigan Tech was really the perfect size for me, um, right around 7,000 undergraduate students. Um, you run into a lot of people all the time that you know, um, but going back to that community aspect, everyone is just very friendly, always wants to help. Um, yeah, so I think that's a big part of it. I had two brothers who are in Greek life here. I actually also had one cousin who was in Greek life um, at Michigan Tech and at least one uncle, maybe actually two uncles. <laughs> so I had a lot of family in Greek life up here. So I knew from them that Greek life is pretty different up here. And because of that, I wanted to look into it. But during my first year, I wasn't really sure um, how much I could handle with student organizations. So I decided to take my first year and just focus on like making my own friends, getting settled with academics, all that kind of stuff. And then my second year is when I decided to join a sorority. And I'm really glad that I did. Um, I've met a lot of really great people, not even just in my sorority, but in all of Greek life. Um, I've made a lot of good connections. So not even just long lasting friendships, but um, a lot of networking opportunities have come from Greek life. Um, yeah, so something that I definitely recommend. <laughs> so I joined the Society of Women Engineers my first year. That was the one student organization that I allowed myself to really join and put my whole heart and soul into, because I tend to do that when I join organizations. So through Society of Women Engineers, I have had a ton of opportunities. I have gained internships, co-ops. Uh, there's a ton of networking opportunities. You can gain mentors by meeting older people in the organization. Um, you also meet a ton of people just being a part of that organization. You meet advisors, um, different students, different majors. Um, we have different companies coming and talk to us. There is a ton that can be gained from joining Society of Women Engineers, so I really highly recommend it for any woman that's going into STEM. I've actually made a lot of good connections outside of classes through my student organizations. For example, there is a um, advisor for the Society of Women Engineers named Gretchen. And <laughs> I guess technically her name is Dr. Hine, but she has us call her Gretchen because she just likes being called on her first name. I don't know. Um, but I love Gretchen. I've been to her farm multiple times. She's actually going to get me some produce here soon. She's going to drop off some raspberries or something for me. Uh, but yeah, she's a great person. She's helped me get scholarships. Um, yeah, recommendation letters, uh, anything that I really need. I know Gretchen is there to help. And she's just one of the many professors that I've gotten to know pretty well here. I really enjoy going to office hours, especially if I need help on homework or I have a question. The professors are really willing to help normally and they're interested in you as a student and helping you succeed. They don't just want to be there for the paycheck. Um, at least from my experience, that's not what it's been. Uh, so they're all around very helpful. Yeah, just in general, the people here are not like anywhere else. Uh, when I got to Michigan Tech, I actually was very social, which surprised me. I generally am a very shy person. Um, growing up, I didn't have a ton of friends. I was always kind of just the nerdy, kind of a little bit sporty type. Um, so I just kind of stuck to my group. But when I got to Michigan Tech, everyone was very friendly and I got along with people so well. So the people here are really what makes it the place that it is. Um, the people are the great part of Michigan Tech, in my opinion. Yeah, so I really like being outside just in general. Um, so some of my favorite things to do are go hiking or go swimming in the portage when it's nice outside, at least. <laughs> 
Um, when the weather gets colder, I have snowshoes. I bought those a couple years ago. Highly recommend trying to snowshoe, especially if you enjoy hiking. Um, if you're over 21, the bars are a really good scene. Um, a lot of people love the KBC, the Keweenaw Brewing Company. Um, there's really just a ton to do around here in nature. I went backpacking for the first time this summer and that is a new hobby that I really learned that I enjoy a lot. So I'm working on getting some more equipment like that so that I can go camping more. Um, but really the outdoors is the place to be up here. You don't want to be anywhere else. If you're staying inside, then you're doing it wrong, in my opinion. <laughs>